Yo guys, my name is Joao and this is Gamers Den. Guys, have you ever wanted to be some something more? Someone that matters, that can make decisions that influence the lives of others, like imposing taxes or unleash wrath on your enemies, raid their villages. If so, then I have a game for you. Let's go. Okay guys, so the game we're going to talk about today is Block Lords. And Block Lords is a medieval RTS MMO that is uh, being made by uh, Meta King Studios. And it's been in the production since 2017. And basically, they just recently implemented some blockchain features. Uh, the game for now is PC only. And I will tell you everything you need to know about the game. Uh, the game is playable right now. The community uh, play event uh, it lasts, I think, 25 days till the uh, June 20, June June 10th. Uh, maybe it's going to be extended. But okay, uh, you basically jump on their website. You can play now. You need to log in with your email or register if you if you if you haven't uh, already. You register your account you connect your wallet polygon or imx and you are able to claim your first uh, nft basically it costs you only some matic so like three cents so you need uh, to have a little bit of matic on your on your wallet and you'll be able to basically jump in you will claim a hero that looks like that this is a farmer so i have to disappoint you here you're not going to start as a as a ruler immediately you're probably going to be a low peasant okay let's talk some degen details here um so every every account upon creating an account basically can mint one of those free basic peasants their stats are well as you can see average but you can also try to claim uh, some more powerful heroes which are very limited so here right now there's like 10 heroes um, that already six from them are claimed they have way better statistics and way better uh, perks but here is the requirements you have some banners that you need to burn in order to um, get this hero and to be able to buy a banner you basically can buy like basic but they do not guarantee you all those better banners that you need silver are usually through community events and and raffles and same is with gold there are sometimes like limited sales and stuff like that so there's many things you will be able to do in block lords you'll be able to basically manage farm which i will show in the gameplay but you will later on on the ne next stages of the game you'll be also able to basically raid other village or protect them uh, choosing a knight or or a raider uh, I would definitely go with a raider, probably. And later on, you'll be you'll also be able to uh, be a ruler, uh, which allows you to impose taxes and, and stuff like that. And here is a really cool feature. You will be able also to conquer uh, another, uh, another realms, your neighbors and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot of players. I think that the map will be very, very interactive and the game can be really, really intriguing. So this is how, how the, you know, combats or, or raiding or like fighting will look like this. Yeah, probably it's a raid. And here's a cool, another cool feature. Uh, basically something like dynamic NFTs. So your heroes will be able to improve with time, but also they are aging, which means that they can die of old age. And this is kind of intriguing, but also scary but there's also something like breeding mechanism implemented so uh you know you have a uh, male and female uh, hero they do like bow shiki wow wow and they can make another uh you know uh, kids although i have one concern here how much bow shiki wow wow can you do actually with with two nfts so this is something that you know control population control the supply that is very important in a game economy so this is remain this remains to be seen 
but basically you can preserve your lineage and uh, you know make another rulers and or, or or knights or fighters this is a really cool feature i really like it okay so this is how the game looks like i mean <laughs> yeah let's play the game oh this there's a cool trailer the let's, air let's, let's watch. is thick with blood the trailer is always, like, something that have been I'm tested. Sold. I see a good trailer. Those At least. who remain stand no chance. I have to ask them to just like implement the feature that upon and push enter you just get uh, into the game um, okay let's go so this is how how the game look like when you start you will have to pick up a region uh, as you see the map is divided into regions uh, all the regions have like resources here where you can see like how much in potential you can uh, gather stone and all those other stuff some regions have lords already on them some of them don't i think that this means that if you if you are in a region where uh, there's already a lord and uh, they have like tax policies when you're uh, gathering resources there or something you have to probably like uh, give some taxes to to those lords but in in also exchange for protection now, because later in this game you will also have the features where you'll be able to raid others or protect others and there are there are going to be like some some sort of um, uh, stages in the game where you uh, first you start as a farmer then you can advance to like a knight or or a raider basically one is protecting one is raiding uh, so high risk high reward kind of stuff and then you go for the ruler or the lord where you basically can influence like politics taxes and stuff like that uh, you're also will be able to command armies and stuff like that so if there will be a lot of players in this game this can be really really cool uh, let's go first to my village uh, to my farm so this is how the, the managing village looks like oh my god all my farmers are near the uh, foreman house uh most of them as you see i'm i'm a i'm a terrible lord i like most of them are tired they don't have energy i have i am pretty low on food well but i will let those miners to work um if you played age of empires it has kind of similar vibe so here you have all the resources uh basically that you need to have all the guys that you're uh making they have like energy and uh, all the things that order them to do cost energy to, re to replenish this energy you need food so you have a really cool tutorial in a game that shows you everything you need to do to advance so like build this in order to get this get this step by step you're just making this village bigger i'm still in a in the midst of you know arranging everything Oh, there are also some some uh, sometimes there are also events uh, like random events where you can decide what you're going to do so let's see okay cooks i need to send them to, to rest so they can actually make more food for me the lumberjacks are working miners are working that's good maybe i will put farmers to uh, rest no builders builders can make tools 
and those tools are basically uh, necessary for most of the things in the game uh, there's going to be probably a lord token later on but the token has not been released yet um, as you uh, complete all those quests and you expand with your buildings uh, and your might that is here you are also be able to upgrade your status the higher the status i believe that more features you will unlock in the future so for now the game is kind of like pve it's more like uh, about testing if the farms work right uh, if the, the game doesn't have any bugs but it's really oh as oh there's an event let me check a squad of miners while exploring a new area of the cave have reported hearing strange and near voices coming from deep within the cave. They are afraid to continue their work, believing the voices to be a sign of spirits of other uh, supernatural ent entities. Yo, that's bullshit. Investigate the voices. High risk, high reward kind of play. I love those. Let's go. After a while, searching miners found a large chamber and heard a low growling sound. Oh, well, that's not good. As they approached, they have discovered a large bear that has been hibernating at the mine. The bear startled by the intrusion, immediately woke up and began to attack the miners. They stood no chance. Oh, poor miners. God, <laughs> God damn. Okay. Well, I risk high reward, they say. So yeah, this is how I treat my um, my uh, workers. As you can see, I send them to fight bears, uh, which they are not really capable of doing. If I think about it, I'm pretty shitty lord. So uh, if we play this game together, you, is, there's a high probability that, well, you can raid my village. But then again, I will have no resources uh, for you to give because I, I have none for myself. Okay, uh, let's let's jump into the city. So there are a lot of features that uh, are going to be here. Tavern, bulletin, brewery, activity, development, where you can be able to, you know, get some extra quests and stuff like that. For now, there's a marketplace. There's a mystery shop that is not yet unlocked. Uh, exchange for gold. I can exchange resources for gold. Gold I need for recruit, recruitment of new uh, troops and other stuff like some resources every day every 24 hours i believe those are restacked so if you buy during the day if i if i go today uh, and i buy all this supply or i sell all my food supply then i cannot do so until next day uh, so i have to wait 24 hours here i can just buy something that i need of course i'm trying not to because those exchanges are not really that favorable there's a city coffer but this works only if you have a lord you're not you need to be a ruler there are some nfts that allow you to do this mm. but you are able to to get them only if you participated in some event so there's there's my hero this is uh avaya hardell and Har she is a she has a blacksmith as you can see she's age 45 and now there's a really cool feature here your heroes will be able to age and actually die from old age but they will also able to advance and you know make a kid so you're probably going to can preserve your lineage especially if you're a ruler it makes it makes a very important role oh i have another event but first i'm going to send those workers why is she not going go with them okay let's see what is the event oh this a young village a villager has fallen in love with someone who is not of their social class or station the subject is question in question appears to be our finest sheep god damn and those those have really moral is, is this guy really in love with the sheep seriously they look they look happy turn a blind eye or banish him i don't know i mean i'm, I'm probably gonna regret that i'm probably gonna regret that but i'm i'm turning a blind eye 
Like, he's not going to preserve his lineage, but at least he's going to be happy. Decided to ignore the rumors or forbidden love affair, let the lovers be. However, your decision has unintended consequences, yeah, well. The villagers become angry and resentful, feeling that you have abandoned your duty to maintain order and uphold social norms. And they are now refusing to work and protest. Yeah, well... Those... those... Close-minded fools. What I can say? I'm gonna impose taxes on them and I'm gonna make them work harder for this. You don't oppose me. As simple as that. Okay. So the cooks can make more food. Farmers can basically plant some wheat and then harvest it. And you can with with builders you can build more 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 and more buildings, but first the, they need to rest. City hall, oh yeah, tax policy, city mission, city hall deployment, and this is for the lords. Probably as a as a farmer. You cannot do anything about it, but there are some tax lists here. I'm still not sure how this works, but during the game, during the play, I'll be able to find out. Okay, so you can always go to the map. You can, if you if you don't like your region, you can always move your farm. It costs some gold, but you can relocate. And there are some, in some places, there are some rulers that are also live there. Okay, but let's exit. So yeah, guys, uh, to sum it up, I think that this is really an intriguing game. Um, I really like what I see so far. I see when I join their Discord, I see that the community is, is there. They are actually doing a lot of a lot of uh, events uh, for the community where you can get some some free loot, uh, able to upgrade those heroes or or collect some banners. I really liked it. Uh, also, there is a contest, a raffle going on uh where you can block lords and imx royal banquet and uh, you just need to connect your wallet join their discord some retweets and basically you're able to participate and maybe you win one lucky winner wins a thousand imx tokens uh, 10 will receive 100 each and 100 will receive 10 imx to tokens this is always something uh, imx is right right now around uh 0.75 dollars so it's decent money if you win it still has like yeah probably there's going to be like two days uh, when i post this video so guys check it out so yeah guys basically that's it uh, there's not many rts on the blockchain right now so if you're interested just jump in the discord i will link everything in the description and please leave a comment like subscribe if you liked it if you want to see more content like that about the block lords I personally really like the experience that I had. Uh, I had this Age of Empires vibe. I cannot wait until the, there's going to be more features implemented where I can raid, where I can make alliance with other players and stuff like that. Maybe when those guilds will, you know, come uh, into play. Um, if the game will have many users, uh, it will be awesome for sure. There's also visuals that look very nice and uh, compelling, so uh, that is always a plus. Um, you know, my concern is with those supplies, uh, with uh, supplies of NFTs and, 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 and those chests, those banners. Uh, this has to be regulated somehow if you want to make uh, economy on the blockchain and you don't want to make it like overinflated and stuff like that. This is still early stage. For now, I see that this is a community first approach, which I really like. And yeah, guys, see you next time.